This is Life with Herpes, and this is episode 102. Welcome to today's episode. I am Alexandra Harbushka. I am the founder of Life with Herpes. It is a blog, it's a podcast, it's a YouTube channel, it is, but most importantly, it's a community for people just like you and just like me living with herpes. I am so grateful you're here and I am so excited to be spending my time with you. And I say this every single time. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's unbelievable to think that right now I'm in San Diego recording. I don't know where you are. It's we're all over the world listening, watching, tuning in, and improving our lives living with herpes. So I am so grateful to be here with you. All right, I just want to get into it. We're in talking about outbreaks today and the what I personally use when I get an outbreak. So let's just face it, outbreaks suck, right? They suck. Like nobody ever likes to get an outbreak. Nobody likes to be, you know inconvenienced. And and as you know, when we get these outbreaks, I'm going to share some of the thoughts that come into my mind. And I go through like, why me? This sucks. Why is this happening to me now? Gosh, so inconveniencing. Um, gosh, now I have to change all, I got to change this. I got to change that. I got to watch my diet. I got to cut out my boot camps. I have to change my life with this little virus. And then I go, why did I ever sleep with that guy? Why did I date him? Why, 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 why me? You know, and and I'm sure you can relate to this. Oh, then I go through my mind of, oh, did I pass it to my husband? All of these things, right? And so it's just this download of information that just pops up when I get an outbreak. Sound familiar? Right. So whatever it is that you go through your mind, I get it. We go through it. We have these thoughts. They and and they can take over if we don't nip it in the bud and just and 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 that's a whole different podcast. But I just wanted to let you know that what you're going through, I still get it. I still go through it, even though I've done a lot of self work, a lot of self healing, forgiveness, and all that stuff since being diagnosed in 2011. It's okay if it comes up. Be gentle. Let it move through and move on. But. Let's get through to what I personally do when I get an outbreak or I feel an outbreak coming on. Hopefully this will help you and it'll help uh, heal faster, quicker, maybe even, I got all word twisted, maybe even prevent the outbreak. So here's what I do first. I take the antiviral, all right? And I take it ASAP. So the minute I feel a a pinch, a tingle, um, a sensation, I'm to the point where I know a certain sensation and I know what it is and I know it's an outbreak. If this is something that's new to you and you're like, I don't know, is it an outbreak? Is it not? I'm going to encourage you to maybe wait a little bit longer so you can know your exact um, signs, symptoms, feelings, so you can know when it's an outbreak or if it's just your skin itching or something, right? But for me personally, I know when I'm getting an outbreak and I take an antiviral and I take it ASAP. The reason why is I'm hoping that I can nip it in the bud. I'm hoping I can get rid of it. I am hoping I will never even get it. So here I have here an example. This is a three-month supply. Um, I take the uh, generic for Valtrax, which is val- valacyclovir. I take 500 milligrams. This is what it looks like. It's just a little blue pill. <sighs> Sounds like I'm talking about... Uh, what is it? Viagra, but I'm not. And this is definitely opposite of Viagra, but it's just a little blue pill. Like I said, I take 500 milligrams. Uh, I do not take this daily. I get questions a lot. Hey, are you on a daily antiviral? No, I'm not, but I do have it on hand for when I do get an outbreak. Um, so I just will take it immediately. I feel the pain or the pressure, or I just know it's coming. So I will take that. If I do get an outbreak, I will take it twice a day. I'll take one in the a.m. and one in the p.m. So it's a total of um, 500 milligrams per pill times two. So it would be one gram or 1,000 milligrams, if I remember my metrics correctly, 
Were any one of you, were you guys like the kids that never learned? I never learned either because I was supposed to be metric, but we never really learned it. Anyways, so total side note. All right, so this is what I take. Okay. Oh, they come in a lot of different shapes, forms. Uh, sometimes doctors prescribe them three months, one month. It just depends on your insurance as well, how it gets processed. Some people only prescribe it when you have an outbreak. It's really up to you and your health care provider. All right, number two, which is really important to me, and I, and the reason why I'm here is probably because my immune system is low, uh, low. So I boost my vitamin intake, and besides taking, you know, my my daily, um, my daily vitamins and my multivitamins, and taking care of my body, and you know, my probiotics and all that fun stuff, I definitely amp up and increase what I'm going to be doing with my vitamin intake. And the reason behind that, like I mentioned, is our immune system's low. And when our immune system's low, a couple of things happen. A, herpes can pop up, or you can even get something else. So when you have a herpes outbreak, you could even you know, get a cold or get run down, or just it can take longer for you to heal. So the key is to fight it, beat it, boost it, make it really uncomfortable, Make the virus super uncomfortable to live in your system. So the mo the first thing I do, and this is something I um, I also take daily, but I wanted to recommend it in case this is something that you're not taking daily for your immune system. I take zinc, and I I take I take one capsule. Um, it is, and I'm just reading here to make sure how much I'm saying. It's 30 milligrams, and with the zinc, what it does is it it a, it boosts your immune system, so yay, boosts immune system, and then it fights any invading bacteria and viruses coming into your body. So zinc does a lot of great stuff. Uh, I do not have it present. I apologize. I am in the middle of moving, and I packed it, so I am not having my zinc today, but I will link it in the bio for you. It's just a little capsule. It's a pill. I take it, and it will help fight off the invading bacteria, viruses. It just makes it uncomfortable for the herpes virus to live in. The next thing I do, I take a little vitamin C. Um, as you know, that's always something we take when we're sick. We take a little vitamin C, we boost it, and I take two capsules. This is what it looks like. Mine's not that exciting. I take two of these, and it is equal to a 1,000 milligrams. So this is really important in immune system. It also helps with the free radicals. It helps prevent our cells from breaking down and it just, it keeps them healthy. So something important to take when you are sick or you're coming down with something and just keeps you boosted. All right, the biggie, the best, the B-I-G, most important one is lysine. Oops, lysine, lysine, lysine. If you have not heard about lysine and this is brand new to you and you're like, what is Alexander talking about? Because I know when my doctor introduced it to me, I was like, lysine, what do you, who, what? Who's lysine? Who's on first? What's on second? No, who's lysine and what? It, why, why do I need this? Um, I'm going to give you a quick little history on lysine, but I'm going to encourage you to go back to one of my episodes. I've linked it and I'm looking it up right now. It's episode 91. I talk, I go into deep, deep, deep. I like went back to my sixth grade science level to research this. And I, I talked about lysine and arginine and amino acids and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to encourage you to go back to episode 91. It's titled arginine and lysine. I also have it linked in the show notes so you can find it. But quickly, arginine and lysine are uh, essential amino acids. Arginine is they're both important for us, especially to have healthy cells, healthy muscles, all that fun stuff. And arginine is basically like lighter, lighter fluid, lighter fluid to the herpes virus. Whatever it does, it feeds it, it grows, and it makes it a very warm, happy environment for the herpes virus to live. What counteracts that, and to use the same analogy as saying lighter fluid, uh, feeding the fire, I'm going to say this is a fire extinguisher. So this is, you know, like Roundup for your weeds or a fire extinguisher to your fire. Lysine counteracts whatever arginine does in your body to fuel the herpes virus. So when you have an outbreak, it's really important to increase your, your intake of lysine. You can do that through diet and other foods, but specifically today I'm talking about vitamins. 
I take six of these and that equals to uh, 3,000 milligram, yeah, 3,000 milligrams, no, yeah, 3,000 milligram, yeah, gosh, I am messing up here on my, on my, um, my math here, but one is equal to 500 milligrams, so that would be 3,000 milligrams, or 3,000 grams, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly. Obviously, I am not metric um, qualified. What I'm going to recommend is you definitely read the label and understand it for yourself. But daily, to prevent it, daily I take two, which would be equal to one, no, one gram or 3,000 milligrams. That's it. One gram or 3,000 milligrams. Now I have it down. No. Let me back that up, guys. I'm totally confusing you. Start over. Daily, I take two of these, which is equal to one gram or 1,000 milligrams. When I have an outbreak, I take six. Um, you can split them out throughout the day. You can do two, two, and two, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can take them all at once, whatever works for you. It is recommended on an empty stomach. However, I just take them when I remember, which is when I eat lunch. But um, yeah, so you definitely want to take these. Like I said, I take two capsules daily, but when you do have an outbreak, take six of these and it will it will definitely help. It'll help put a fire extinguisher to the herpes virus and it will make it a really uncomfortable situation. Basically what it's doing internally is it's not allowing it to breed and get really angry in there and then have multiple outbreaks and just keep going. So that's what it's doing internally. So these are the three vitamins that I take when I have an outbreak. And they, I, I will say, they play a really big role and, and they do a really good job of doing their job. So I highly recommend it and it's important just to keep your immune system up. All right, I have discovered, it, discovered, excuse me, I said that wrong. I discovered a new product. I'm pretty excited about it. It is really powerful and it really works really, really well. So it is called D. Linote, and they manufacture this actually in Las Vegas. So I've had the privilege to go kind of behind the scenes, talk to some people, and um, kind of see it in, in progress. But what it is, it's olive leaf extract, and I use this topically. It is... It just it, it helps it the olive leaf it it, it helps it help it helps it. it I put it directly on the sore and like I said it's really powerful and I've heard a lot of great things from other people who've used it and it helps clear it up fast and ASAP. Um, I can show you what it looks like a little bit. It literally is the color of olives and it's just it's kind of a liquid. It looks it almost looks like a paint if you were to like finger paint or something. It smells like olives. Personally, I love olives, but what I do is I just get a Q-tip and I am very liberal with the amount of Di Linote I put on there and I rub it on the sore. I do this as many times as possible throughout the day. It is recommended to do it um, twice daily. However, I do it as many times as possible because I am home. I do work from home, so I basically do it as many as often as I go to the bathroom. Um, you may not want to do that as much. Obviously, if, if you go to you know go into work every day, you're like taking the this with you to the bathroom. But whatever works for you, ladies. If you are worried, like I was, I was like, oh my gosh, is this gonna stain my underwear? I don't want underwear stains. It does not. The stains come out in the wash, so don't <laughs> worry about that. But I was worried, or just wear black underwear. It'll be fine. But it is it is great. I use it. I love it. And it's it's worked wonders for when I'm thinking I'm getting an outbreak or I am very liberal with it and I apply it and it works wonders. So I really want to recommend that. And it, it definitely, you can feel it soothing and it does wonderful things. So it is wonderful. I have the link to this as well in the show notes so you can find it. You can get it. Um, yeah, I'll link it. All right. And finally, this is what I do, and it's the hardest, most difficult thing for me to do is I rest up. Sounds simple, sounds easy, but it's hard if you have a busy schedule, you know, whatever it is you do, if you're a parent, you're working, whatever, it, it, it's hard to take things off your schedule, right? 
but that's the most important thing to do because you really are technically sick, right? You you are sick, and if you don't take care of yourself, it'll get worse. You'll get more, or you will, you know, um, get into something else. You get the cold, you get the flu, you get pneumonia, or whatever it is. So I take care of myself. I take things off my calendar, and I I do this. What um is hard for me, like I said, is I realize I've gotten myself into this position because I've gotten myself into the position of getting an outbreak because I was burning the candle from both ends. So you can take all these things, lysine, you know, Valtrex, Val, Val, Vaclacyclovir, all that stuff, but the reason why you got there is because you have pushed your body to the max. So I force myself to take a nap, which is always delightful. I don't know about you, but I get personally exhausted fatigued when I get outbreaks. So the nap actually is really comforting, but sometimes it is hard to fit naps in into a busy day. I also drink plenty of water, always flushing my system, trying to keep it, it clean. And um, I take an Epsom salt bath. Epsom, Epsom salts do wonders also for our nervous system. It helps relax us. And they also kind of... Um, the salts heal the sores. So that's it does so much for our muscles, everything. But in general, it relaxes us and it helps heal the sores. So uh, I, I will do that when I have an outbreak, especially if I have a really bad outbreak. I will, I will uh, take a Epsom salt bath. I also will put some essential oils. My personal favorite is lavender oil. It is also very relaxing, but whatever your favorite oil is, put a couple of drops in there. Enjoy, uh, make sure you're hydrated, but I really recommend taking things off your calendar as hard as that is to do, you know, cut back at the gym, you know, if, if you're going to go take, you know, if you're a marathon runner and all that, take the day off, just relax. Your body is stressed and then you're going to stress yourself out because you go, oh, I have this, I have this. Just relax. Take that into consideration. All right. I'm super curious to know what works for you. Like I said, these things are my essentials. Uh, they're really important to me and I make sure I have them at all times. Of course, I'm saying that I'm out of zinc right now. Like I said, I am moving. It is packed. I don't know where it is, but I definitely have my lysine and I have my vitamin C and I have my pills and I have my olive stuff. So that is super important to me. I will love to know what works for you. Everybody has their own way, method, system. So let me know. And of course, of course, please guys, as you can see, I am. Dif it's difficult for me to talk about grams and milligrams and all that. Um, read the labels and make sure you understand what you're taking. I have put the exact amounts I personally take in the show notes with the correct grams and milligrams and all that. But I do want to make sure you talk to your healthcare provider. Um, we don't realize that we can kind of mess some things up if we take too many vitamins and this and that and they can counteract. So I'm going to recommend also please talk to your healthcare provider before taking too many or too less or you, just, you want to make sure you have a right balance because that can really mess some things up as well. Also, the number one most important thing during this process when you do have an outbreak is I want you to understand the number one thing is forgiveness, self-respect, and self-love. And if you can remember those three things while you're going through this, it'll help you get through your outbreak and it'll help you cover, heal internally, mentally, you know, mind, body, soul, and all that fun stuff. All right, my friends, I will see you soon. Mwah. Cannot wait to see you. If you are not, I can't even believe I haven't for talked about this. If you're not a member of the community, I would love to invite you to be a member. It is, it's awesome. It's happening over there. There's a lot of great stuff. There's show notes, there's emails, there's access to our community if you choose to do that as well. But there are thousands of people over there and I cannot wait to see you over there as well. So go to lifewithherpes.com, sign up, apply, join, read, find out information. And basically, thank you for helping me fight this stigma. We are doing it together one by one and I appreciate you being here and I appreciate uh, being able to be here for you. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.